About 50% of my viewers are from outside America, and a few of you guys asked me to explain American football in the upcoming championship game, also known as the Super Bowl. Now, I am a marginal football fan. I'll watch the Baltimore Ravens if they're on, but I won't go out of my way. For those of you who are watching the Super Bowl in Europe, you might have no idea what's actually going on. So give me about five minutes or so to explain the basics of American football, which is one of the most popular sports in the United States with millions of fans, and it passes through all political spectrums. The main culmination of this sport is the Super Bowl, which is played every February between the two championships of each of the National Football League's conferences. American football is played on a 100-yard long rectangular field with goal posts at each end. The objective is to score points by getting a ball into the opposing team's end zone. There are a couple ways to do this, but the two methods you see more often is carrying or catching the ball in the opponent's end zone or by kicking the ball through the goalposts. The game is divided into four 15-minute quarters, and each team has four attempts or downs to advance the ball 10 yards. If they succeed, they get another set of downs, fail, and the other team gets possession of the ball. Now, let's meet the players. There are 11 players on each football team's side. Each team has an offense and a defense. The offense aims to move the ball down the field while the defense tries to stop them. There are a number of different positions as well, but let me give you the basics. So on the offense, we start with the quarterback. He is sort of like the general of the offense. He calls the plays and throws or hands off the ball. This is the offensive line. Their job is to protect the quarterback. The rest of these guys are the receivers. It's their job to catch the ball and run with it, depending on the type of play being executed. On the defense, we start with the defensive linemen, who are sometimes called rushers. Their job is to break through the offensive line and stop plays by tackling either the quarterback or one of the receivers. In addition to the offense and the defense, there's also a third type of unit on the field during kicking plays called special teams. You'll see these guys at the beginning of a kickoff or during an extra point attempt after a touchdown, but I'll get to scoring in a second. Of course, no sport is without rules, and American football is no exception. Penalties are called for rule violations, and they can result in yards being gained or lost, affecting the game's outcome. You'll often know that there's a penalty when you see a referee throw a penalty flag. This is most often called for holding because in football, if a player doesn't have the ball, you aren't allowed to grab the other player with your hands. The offender's team typically gets a 10-yard penalty for this. Now on to scoring. If you catch or carry the ball into the end zone, that is a touchdown and worth six points. After you score a touchdown, you have an option. You can either kick the ball through the goalposts for one additional point or you can attempt a two-point conversion by re-advancing the ball into the opponent's end zone from the two-yard line. That is the most common way of scoring. Alternatively, teams can score three points by kicking a field goal through the goalposts at varying distances. And finally, there is a fourth way of scoring two points. This can only be done by the defense, and that's by tackling an offensive player who has the ball in the offensive team's end zone. Now, the Super Bowl has always been popular, but in 1984, Apple Computer created a commercial that was only run once and essentially became famous for its artistry and the introduction of the Macintosh computer. This had the effect of companies saving parts of their marketing budget to create funny or memorable commercials just for the Super Bowl. And in fact, today, some people only watch the Super Bowl for the commercials. So that's American football. And there's one more tradition I want to talk about, and that's the flyover. Aircraft from the United States Armed Forces typically fly over a football game on the last note of the national anthem. And if you want to learn how they coordinate this, the video on that will be available at the end of this one. Hey, if you want to support the channel, uh, look into getting one of my landmine hoodies or Live Laugh Launch t-shirts from Bunker Branding. I even wear mine. I, I love this landmines t-shirt. Thank you for watching and enjoy the game. Oh man, I'm so bored! Christ on crutches with a permanent profile. That's because you have the wrong toys!
You need a Ryan Macbeth in action figure from the Knife Hand Company. That's right, Ryan Macbeth in action figures go everywhere. Put them on your desk, your Crocs, your keychain. You can even ask Ryan advice. Ryan, why does daddy ignore me when I'm over his house for the weekend? Because your new mommy is way hotter than your old mommy. Trading cards, you get a free trading card in every box. Now that's Ryan Riffick. So come on down to the Knife Hand Company and get your in-action figure today. Alcoholism, cigarettes, and non-service connected hearing loss sold separately.